I felt that the Lord spoke to me and said, you are going to be diagnosed with cancer and do not be afraid. I felt like saying, get thee behind me, Satan. I know that cannot be God. In the fall of 2005, I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Very deadly. Survival rate is somewhere between 10 and maybe even 15%. Most people die uh, with advanced cases within three or four months of the diagnosis. I was very busy. Church was exploding with growth. And uh, all of a sudden, I had to deal with that clear-cut diagnosis and the challenge and a sense of danger. I felt as though the Lord was going to heal me, but I needed to move forward with the treatment plan. As we started the treatments, I started having the worst uh, reactions to chemo. I dropped uh, about 70 pounds over a nine month period. I also had a stroke that paralyzed the right side of my body. Also, we had a blood clot that broke off from a place in my leg. At one particular time, I was about 24 hours away from dying from having a clot. It was really a very trying time. I didn't have to fight for my healing, but rather I needed to fight to come to a place of resign to the will of God and then enter into his direction and directives. Subtly, that's very different. If I know God's leading me into a battle, then the battle is the Lord's, it's not mine. If I feel like I'm fighting and I'm really fighting by all my human strength alone, I get agitated, anxious, my energy may ebb and flow, and I'm in that quest of thinking, well, maybe I didn't pray enough, do enough, quote enough scriptures. That's why I'm in this terrible mess. Verses, Lord, I thank you that you love me. And if my assignment is not over here on earth, I am immortal until I've finished that assignment. And that's how I took it. In 2006, on my birthday, as I was just waking up from the surgery to remove my esophagus, reorganize my stomach, a brief time in intensive care where my heartbeat was going up and down off the chart, and they didn't know whether I was gonna survive that recovery phase, I was able to get a copy of a Baltimore newspaper, which had a picture of me in the paper. The article was entitled, Seizing a New Moral Mantle. And at that moment I said, you know what? The Lord is telling me you've made it, congratulations, and you're gonna be moving in this vein just like you thought, despite the bumps in the road. So that was amazingly encouraging. God allowed special things to happen to show me that I wasn't out of the race, but rather in his will. It's been now right at about eight years since the original diagnosis. So I can say it's gone. I went to the doctor just a few weeks ago, had a complete physical. I'm doing better than I've done over the entire uh, eight year period of time. And I'm finally getting back to the place that I was in terms of exercise, et cetera, before uh, I was diagnosed with cancer. If I had to advise anybody who's going through cancer right now and who's just had the diagnosis, I would say feed your heart and your inner man with the Word of God, even through sermons, etc. And then look to God for His way out. It is not a one time battle. It is not, I make my stand and boom, here I am. But rather, there are mountaintops you've got to climb to, and there are different levels of engagement with this disease. Sometimes as we're going through our test and our problems, we're at our wit's end. God may be allowing us in that moment to come to greater levels of submission to His will. 
his purpose to bring us to the point that we're ready for the next full phase of our life and ministry.